What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use uh, the type ahead feature in Bootstrap. And it's going to have a little bit of uh, PHP and jQuery uh, involved. The first feature that we're going to look at is the type ahead, as I said. And what that is, is it's a uh, input box that populates a list uh, whenever you type in it. Uh, so there are several, several ways that you could populate this list. And I'm going to go ahead and show you one of them. I'm going to go over to uh, an HTML document that I have set up. And uh, you don't have to have all of this code, but you do need to make sure that uh, you're at least calling the CSS um, and jQuery. Uh, what I have here already set up is um, a couple of lines of CSS, and I've got a container for my input box. Uh, not necessarily important, but uh, it'll look good for uh, visual purposes. Now at the bare minimum, all you really need is an input tag and it's going to have to have a type of text and you're going to need to uh, input a data attribute of type of head. And that should be it. Now I'm actually going to style this out a little bit. I'm going to wrap a div around this input and it's going to have a class of oh actually input append and I'll just close it out right here and just under that just under my input type I'm going to have an anchor tag and I'm going to give it a class of btn and btn primary And instead of typing in a value, I'm going to use one of the icons. And I use the icon search. And I want it to be a white one. I'll close that out. Close my anchor tag. And I'll save it. Switch over to my browser and hit refresh. And you can see I've got a nice little search bar now uh, with a blue button appended to the end and it's got a white search icon on it. Now we have our markup ready and the next thing we need to do is get our list uh, for the type of head feature. So I'm going to go back to my text editor and what I have open already is uh, a text file and it's called countries.txt and what it is is just basically a long list of, of every country uh, separated by new line breaks. So that means for, uh, for each line I've got a country listed. Now you can make your own list and you can call it whatever you want. Uh, just make sure that each item uh, is on, you have one item per line and uh, you've got a variation of different letters. Now this is all in alphabetical and alphabetical order. Uh, so if you write your own list, just make sure you have at least, I don't know, eight to 12 items to search through. If you don't want to type out your own list, you can head over to my website, uh, easydevtoots.com, and I actually have this countries.txt file available to you. Uh, we need to create a new file, and this file we're going to have to save as, uh, I'm going to save mine as countries.php, and basically we're going to use this PHP file uh, to read the contents of our text file, and we're going to send it over to our input area. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by opening up uh, PHP or declaring it. Now in order to read this countries.txt file uh, with PHP, we're going to use a built-in function and it's going to be file underscore uh, get contents. And we're going to need to type in our countries.txt as the file that we want to read from. And also we're going to need to add file underscore include underscore path. And what this function does is it returns the value of countries.txt as a one long string. Uh, we want to save that into a variable. So I'm just going to call it uh, file. And uh, with that string, what we want to do is we want to turn it to an array. I'm going to call my array countries. And in order to create an array, we're going to have to use another uh, PHP function called explode. And uh, you see it takes in two parameters. 
a delimiter and a string. For our string, we're going to use uh, our file, our file string that we just created, and as a delimiter, we're going to use uh, the new line. If you if you can recall, our countries.txt list is separated uh, by a new line break. So I'm going to close that out with a semicolon. Now, uh, in order for our type of head to properly work, we're going to need to use one more function, and it's going to be the JSON encode function. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this array and it's going to create a JavaScript object that our type of head uh, can read. Inside of here, I'm going to put countries. And I'm going to end that with a semicolon. Uh, now, when our jQuery calls on this file, it's going to need to uh, retrieve a value. And the way it does that is you simply add echo in front of this last function and uh, it'll send that data back to our HTML file. So I'll save this now and I'll go back to my ajax.html and I have a script tag open up and closed down here at the bottom and I need to use a jQuery function. What I'm going to be using is uh, the post function and uh, this function takes in two parameters but first let me tell you what it is uh, the post function is a shorthand way of making an HTTP request uh, or Ajax and the first parameter it takes is uh, the file that you'd like to request uh, some info from I call mine countries.php and as I said it takes multiple parameters uh, but we're concerned with one right now uh, now that parameter is actually a function and within that function uh, we need to type in data and we need to open and close some curly brackets and I'm gonna go ahead and close this line out with a semicolon and right in the center of the curly brackets I'm just gonna create a few lines uh, line breaks the reason we put this function in as our second parameter is because what it actually does is uh, this whole function, this entire fun uh, post function, makes a request to countries.php and if that's successful what this function does is is it takes the data that's sent back to us and uh, it, it passes it through uh, this data variable. Uh, now for this example it's going to take our JSON object which is our uh, file and it's going to retrieve it for us. Uh, now what we need to do for this type of head function is we need to take the data that we get back from this uh, function and we need to pass it through to this uh, input area. Uh, we need to add an ID to this input type and I'll give it an ID of search and then I can reference it down here now. So I'm going to open a dollar sign and inside the single quotes I'm going to put search and what I'm going to do is, with that data, I'm going to pass it into here uh, via the attribute. So I'm going to put ATTR, and in single quotes, I'm going to put data source, comma, data. And I'll close it with a semicolon. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to switch over to my browser and refresh. And when I type in, I now have a list of all my countries. If you created your own list, uh, just make sure you're typing in something that's available in your text file. Uh, as you can see, no matter what I type in, uh, it'll always show back some results. Quickly, let's just review how this was done. I'm going to switch back to my files. And remember, I created an input tag, and I gave the data dash provide attribute of type ahead, uh, and it's the Bootstrap plugin. I have a list of items that I want to query, and I read that list uh, with PHP using a couple of uh, built-in PHP functions. Uh, ultimately, I create a JavaScript object and I send it back to my HTML by using echo. Now what I, what I do with that data is 
Um, I apply it to the data, data source attribute and attach it to our search input tag. And that's how our list is populated. Yeah, well, that's going to be it. Uh, if you like my video, go ahead and subscribe. And remember, if you don't want to type out this countries.txt, you can always head over to my website, easydev2s.com, and uh, just download a whole zip file, and it'll contain this text folder. Um, thanks again for watching, and that's it.